Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new problem in linked list. So basically we are given any random linked list means there is no order uh, and now we need to basically convert it or we need to rearrange it in a manner so that first of all we have the the minimum element the list type the list uh, the list value element and then we have the maximum value right so basically we have to arrange it in min max value so as you can see this is the this is the minimum value then we have this the maximum value then we have the we have the second then we have the second la second minimum value then we have the second second last maximum value right again we have the uh, we have the third minimum value and then we have the third last min maximum value right so this is how we need to arrange it and like uh, they, like it can be in any order right it can be any order is just that we need to arrange it in min max order min max value right first it should be minimum then it should be maximum right so we'll see that what should be the logic then we'll see uh, that how we'll implement it in java code and then we'll see what will be the time complexity and space complexity to solve this problem right so uh, how we can solve this problem right so if you see that uh, basically alternatively if you see alternatively we have this minimum values like this is the minimum value then this then this and on alternate we have the maximum value in decreasing order like this 6 then 5 then 4 right so it means that what we can do basically first of all we can we can basically sort this complete list right so if we sort the complete list so it will be something like this 1 2 3 4 5 and then 6 right and once we have sorted this linked list then we can divide this then we can basically uh, we can divide this in two lists right with the middle element so uh, so we can basically do it using middle element so first of all we'll find out the middle element so like in this case my middle element is this one it means my second list starts after the middle element so my second list is this one and my first list will be this one right so this is I can do and once I have done this then I will basically reverse the second list so after reversing my second list will be this 6 then 5 then 4 right so it means it means the first list is this one 1 2 and 3 and second list is this one 6 5 4 and now what I can do I can alternatively take I will first take the first element then I will take the second I will take the first element of this list right so one by one I will take the element from the one first list then second list and this is how I can build the final list so let's say if this is my first list right and so this is my first list and this is my second list so I can say this is my second list now what my aim is my aim is to first of all take the first element then the second element from here right so uh, I will take a dummy node uh, I will take a dummy node and what I will do so th this dummy node is just to is just for the temp right and after that we will we'll remove that so what I will do I will take that if first list is not null so just append the next of this one to the first list so it means this one right now I will check and I will increase the first list node so now first list will be pointing to this one and similarly I will also update this one to this node so now my this node is also pointing to this one now I will check that if if I have second list so yes second list is also uh, not null so it means append append the next of this one to second the second list and again increase the second list so now second list is pointing to this node similarly I will check again for the first list then it will increase to this one and I will check for the second so now again it will do for this and now uh, similarly again I have this first list node and similarly I have this second list node right and after that it will be null and again also it will be null so uh, when I have when I am done with the first list and second list so as you as you can see that I have this list and after that I can simply return the next of this dummy node right so it means if you see this complete list this is exactly what we wanted right so we have first the minimum element then maximum then again minimum then maximum then minimum then maximum right so this is how this is how we can solve this problem and if you talk about the time complexity so what what we have done we have first of all uh, we have first of all 
sorted the link list right so in sorting the link list uh, my time complexity is n log n right because uh, either i will sort using merge sort or i will or i will sort using yeah so so to sort the link list i have this n log n time complexity now after that uh, i am basically finding out the middle element so in finding out the middle element again i have talk time complexity is big of n and then i am reversing the second list so in reversing the list i my time complexity is big of n and after that i am basically uh, taking one by one all the elements of both the list so in this because we are iterating the iterating the n element so it means again we have complexity as n right so in uh, in complexity generally we always take the uh, the highest order elements or or highest order so it means if you see my highest order is this one the n log n right it means my overall time complexity is this n log n and this is basically required to sort the link list right so this is my time complexity now if you talk about the space complexity so uh, as such we are not using any space is just that we are using this dummy node so it, so we can take it is just a constant because this is just a single node right so space complexity i will say it as big of 1 right so this is uh, this is will be my time complexity now i will show you that how we can do it in code right so basically uh, this is my list this is i have uh, six element where i have in random order 2 3 1 6 5 4 and then this is my function rearrange linked list alternate min max element where i am passing the head node right so if i show you the program so uh, so if my head is null or if i have only single element it means i can simply return head because i need not to do anything else uh, then first of all sort the linked list so as i explained first of all sort the linked list once we have sorted the linked list then divided into two linked list so this is how we do it that we find out the middle element middle node and and guys you can see you can see the sort linked list uh, that how we can sort or how we can find out or how we can reverse right so we have already we have already tutorial of these thing so we want to cover in this one we will mainly focus of uh, of rearranging the linked list in this right but still basically uh, i will put this source code of this of the complete solution uh, in in description so i will point out the link where you can uh, copy the source code right so you can copy from there or you can see my previous tutorial how we can uh, do this thing like like uh, reversing or middling node or sorting linked list right so this is how you divide in two linked list you find out the middle node and after that uh, and you say that my next my next list is middle node dot next right now uh, now i reverse the next list which is my second list and so i say it reverse list and i have my first list as this one and now as explained that i will take this dummy node so this is my uh, dummy node final list equal to new node and i have initialized this node equal to final list right and now i am checking it until first list is not null and reverse list is not null so if first list is not null it means append the next of this node to the first list and increase the node by next one similarly increase the first list all also by first list dot next right and similarly do this for the reverse list so in one iteration basically we are adding two nodes one from the uh, one from the first list which is a minimum element and one for the reverse list one from the reverse list which is a maximum element right and after that once you are done this then you can simply return final list dot next right so this is how you can solve this problem right so uh, that's it guys about this video and uh, we have seen that how we can rearrange a linked list in alternate min max elements and guys if you want to copy the source code i will put this source code in my description you can copy from there and you will you can see that how we are executing this so that's it guys about this video and and if you think and if you face any problem in this then please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that one as well if you if you find out and if you see that there is any good approach than this so you can also mention in the comment section and we'll see that uh, if if that is a good approach than this one so thanks guys and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you